What's good, everybody? It's BBK Dragoon, and I think Bungie has finally done it. I think they have finally realized the vision of what they want a Destiny game to be, and it was off the scale. Today, I'm sharing my feedback and impressions of the story and campaign of Destiny 2. No spoilers. I will try and keep the footage to mainly EDZ patrols and footage from within the first hour or two of the game, because I, I think you need to experience this one blind. And if you are planning on picking up Destiny to avoid the internet, avoid the spoilers, just go in and experience this for yourself because Bungie has blown my expectations out of the water and then some. A disclaimer, I'm biased, obviously. I've played Destiny 1 for all three years. I've run a Destiny News podcast for over three years. So I'm somebody who's already tilted towards enjoying the game. I have critiques, obviously, of the original Destiny, a lot of them. But when it comes to Destiny 2, as, as somebody who's, you know, been a Destiny 1 fan, I don't know how Bungie elevated certain things that they did to the level that they did within the story. I was really, really impressed. So let's open up with the visuals. Graphically, this is one of the best console FPS games ever. It may be one of the best looking console games ever, period. The footage you're seeing is from the PS4 Pro downsampling 4K to 1080p. And even on the base PS4 and base Xbox One, I would still stand by my statement. This is one of the best looking games ever. I don't know how Bungie did it, but the skyboxes are beyond more impressive. They are such a step above the environments, the creativity and the design of the environments, the lighting, the way that the light interacts with the colors of your character and your weapon, the way explosions and visuals work, the size play spaces that you're engaging enemies in, the amount of enemies that you're engaging are all dialed up way higher than in Destiny 1. And when this game releases on PC, this will be one of the best looking PC shooters of all time. Truly, their art has gone to the next level. In the music department, finally, finally the music reminds me of a Halo quality game. Granted, Marty O'Donnell is a legend and the themes he creates become iconic but perhaps some of the tracks in Destiny 2 will do the same over time. Some of the tracks for the spaces are gorgeous, beautiful. They completely amp up the emotions that you are intended to feel by a large factor. The farm theme is gorgeous. They implement a lot more just really pretty string ensembles that accentuate the struggle of losing the tower, of losing the light, and having to try and fight back against this impossible foe that is Gaul. The gameplay they have somehow, again, made more sticky. The gameplay, which is basically the shooting, the reloading, the abilities, the jumping, all of that from Destiny 1 was exceptional. I think that was the standout point for most people. The PvE in Destiny 1 was far and away just awesome. But they've stepped it up with Destiny 2. They've made the enemies more fun to engage. You will see some returning folks that you fought in Destiny 1, and no, I'm not talking about bosses or spoilers. I mean, Fallen appear in the trailer, so that's not really a spoiler to talk about, but these updated versions of the enemies add a little bit more to the sandbox. And some of the creativity choices that they make with certain enemy types are just brilliant. They make them way more fun to fight, way, way more fun to engage with. The story itself has characters with well-written dialogue. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna feel a little bit of emotion here and there. You're definitely gonna fall in love with a few new faces. Solid pacing throughout the game. Much, much longer mission designs with a far more grand scale. You'll note earlier I said you'll engage in play spaces exponentially larger than you ever did in Destiny 1. That's very true and there's gonna be more enemies on screen to fight than what you have ever been faced with. The conclusion of the story is very powerful. Very, like, if you are somebody who has played the original Destiny, I believe it adds an extra layer of impact. And when it's all said and done, you've wrapped up the campaign, there are surprises and twists that are impactful enough that almost got me emotional. Bungie has done it. How's the length of the campaign, BBK? I'm not going to talk about that in this video because I believe that is spoilery. I woke up at 3 a.m. yesterday to grind, 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 grind. 
because I wanted to get this done and get a video out for you guys to share this experience with you. And I'm impressed with the length. I am really pleased with the quality of the missions that you're engaging in. It really does feel like a lot of the busy work and the stupidity is gone and they've just gotten down to what really matters in Destiny. The sticky gameplay, the really quality moving shooting and fun boss designs. It's really hard in a non-spoiler way to talk about this a little bit further because quite frankly some of the individual missions I want to go you remember that and then that thing and when you looked at that oh my gosh like but I can't so all I can say is just go out there and experience the campaign for yourself. Bungie did it in a way I didn't think they were going to be able to and I'm really stoked. You know if if this is the quality of what we can expect from Destiny moving forward it is in a really fantastic place. And this is a campaign that will please new players who didn't enjoy Destiny 1. Obviously, I'm not saying all of Destiny 2 is going to be perfect. It's going to take a few months of gearing up, playing the raid, before we really see what the gameplay loop looks like at Endgame. And I'm not anywhere close to Endgame yet, so I have a long way to go. As a Destiny fan, though, I was blown away. It surpassed my expectations massively. For the fans that are continually going, yo, sell me on it. How long was it? How much of X was there? How much of Y was there? For that fan, I'm not going to even bother answering in the comments because, frankly, if you need somebody to sell you on the game, I'm not going to be that person. I enjoy it for what it is, and wow is all I can say after I concluded the story. Super stoked. So, a warning to everybody who's heading down to the comments section. People on the internet can be jerks, and there may be spoilers. I'll try and manage that as best as possible. If people are posting egregious spoilers down there, they will be removed. But I'm just letting you know, if you're somebody who hasn't completed it, just ignore the internet, get it done. And if you have finished it, I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comments below this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will be back soon with more videos as I sink my teeth deeper into the awesome game that is Destiny 2. Have a great day.